I know you've been a big proponent of writers asking questions, questions concerning anything about their career or whatever, but why would a writer be afraid to ask questions? I think people in general sometimes are afraid to ask questions. Um, for whatever reason, a lot of times, and I, and I used to be this way too, when I was a kid, I used to think, well, if I ask a question, people are gonna think I'm stupid, or that I, you know, why would I ask a question? I must not know what I'm doing. Uh, and it's the same, I think the older we get, well, a lot of times, you know, I, how many of you out there, you know, have been afraid to ask your boss, you know, qu a question because you don't know what they're gonna say. Are they gonna think you're, you're, you're stupid or you don't know what you're doing? I think sometimes asking questions, if, you know, and you, if, especially if you're asking them and you phrase it in a way that, that uh, uh, is asking for advice, I think then people love it. People like being asked for advice. So I always believe there's something I call the open-ended question. The open-ended question is, is saying something in a way where you are not asking for a question that has a yes or no answer. You want to get information. And this is especially helpful when you maybe have one, uh, an interview with somebody, you know, like if, if you're pitching and you maybe have finished your pitch and they have finished giving you feedback and if they say, oh, do you have any other questions? That's the perfect time for an open-ended question, such as what are some of the genres that you guys are interested in, in, in doing in the future? You know, that's not a yes or no answer. And it's getting valuable information so that you know, oh, okay. You know, if they say, oh, well, we're looking for an action piece or something like that, or I'm looking for a romance novel or something, you know, if you have something like that, that's a perfect way for you to then say, oh, you know, I've got a, I've got a romantic comedy and, uh, and you can do a log line on it and, you know, it's, uh, it's halfway done and, you know, would you be interested in taking a look at it? I mean, it's a way of breaking the ice, too, and opening up your conversation. So an open-ended question is just the most amazing thing. It's not asking something that's, oh, well, do you like this or not? That's yes or no. No, you're asking for their advice. Uh, other que other kinds of uh, examples of open-ended questions. What do you think about? Da 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 da. Um, you know, you mentioned such and such uh, as as being a a a, a problem. Uh, can you can you uh, give me some examples of this? So you have a better idea. You're extending the one. You're extending the conversation. Two, you're gathering more information, and three, you're establishing a relationship, a back and forth relationship. They are going to remember. They are more likely to remember that conversation with you, should you contact them later. You know, and especially if you do a little thank you note that says, you know, that says, "Dear so and so, thank you so much for taking the time to answer my questions. I really enjoyed talking with you and about you know such and such as mentioned." Uh, I have a, I finally finished my romantic, uh, my roman romance novel or my romance comedy or whatever. And um, here's a, you know, I'm, a, I'm attaching a, a little short paragraph about it. And if you think this is of interest, I mean, you've started now a relationship. Uh, how successful that relationship is, I'm not sure, but at least you, that's the way you start a relationship. And that's how you, you know, if by answering and, and asking open-ended questions within your own writer's group as well, that's where I say start your practice there first. Then you can start using it on things like when you go to pitch fest or when you go to meet with um, maybe, you know, somebody who's a, who's a producer or an, a, an agent or something. So that's, you know, to me, that's, that's the best way to start getting your, your, your work out there and getting yourself used to it is, Asking questions. Yeah, I think it, it indicates interest too. Definitely. You know, because if someone says, "Well, great, do you have any questions for me?" No, I don't think so. Then you think, "Oh, well, they're not. They're done. They want to leave." But if you show, "Yes, I do," it shows that this is something you want to commit time to. You're interested. You're mm -hmm. willing. You're open. Yeah, but the open-ended question—it's something I learned very early because I was a journalism major. And when you interview people, you don't want to just get a yes or a no answer. 
So I, uh, it's something that has worked really, really well for me, and um, it's worked really well for my clients too. Because they, it, it's such a, a simple thing, but you need to kind of practice it a little bit, and uh, it does. It shows interest. It also, when you ask people for their advice, people, even a boss, likes to be asked for his advice, and I don't. I think it's just the way that you that you ask it, uh, and it's surprising how the, the results that you might get.